my name is Michelle and I'm from the Faculty of Elder Suki. In this video, I would like to recommend you and also suggest you to use Transjakarta instead of other transportation like all the transportation we know, Bajai, Taxi, Grab or Gojek. Why? Well, there is many reasons why I want to recommend you to use Transjakarta instead of other tra public transportation. First, the very very reason first I want to recommend you is because the cheap cost or the cheap fee transportation that you can have just by using Transjakarta. Like seriously, to use Transjakarta, you only need to pay for around three three thousand and five hundred rupiah, and that is very cheap compared to other transportation like. All of them are around 7,000 rupiah and up can even can go straight to 100,000 rupiah. I have tried to compare my the fee the cost for transportation from my home to my college with Transjakarta it only costs around 10,000 rupiah including grab to the to the Transjakarta stop and then I try to compare it with grab or gojek from my home to my college, it costs around 30,000 rupiah or worse when it's high fare, it will cost around 50,000 rupiah so it's really better if you want to if you are not in a hurry so it's really better if you just go with the Transjakarta signs it will save much much of your money since sometimes Grab or Gojek cost is not really friendly for as college students or for you that trying to save your money second the time it takes for you to arrive to your destination I try to compare between the time I need to go from my home to my college with Transjakarta and Grab it's almost the same since both of them took around 40 minutes at the same time but sometimes on some other occasion Transjakarta can be faster from your public transportation because it have its own line where it can go ex exclusively for it purpose although some people use it as well but like they have their own road that they can use so you can arrive faster at your destination because they don't need to deal with traffic jam and other sudden thing like that third Using Transjakarta means there will be less transportation, public transportation, or private transportation vehicle. The third one, by using Transjakarta, it will help to make the road less crowded. Just because people will, choo will choose to use Transjakarta, then there will be less public transportation and private, private vehicle that they will use. So it will make the road much, much more free from the traffic jam the efficiency of Transjakarta is also great because rather than having to take out your money every time you want to walk, to use the Transjakarta you can just buy this ref this card and money that you can buy for, for 40,000 rupiah with the credit inside around 20,000 rupiah that you can use by just that you can use just by, by just scan the card on the machine and it will be automatically reduce your credit and you can use the Transjakarta so rather so rather when you're in a really 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 urgent situation you can just go straight to the busway to the Transjakarta scan your card and write and use the Transjakarta rather than waiting for grab or Gojek that sometimes the order the order is cancelled without your notification so I think Transjakarta is a better option for you because of the cost of the time and the efficiency but sometimes you cannot predict when will Transjakarta come because sometimes they are trapped with traffic jam and are a little bit late than what it's supposed to be so when you're really really in an urgent you can just go with Grab or Gojek to save your time and your, or maybe like your absent in class. But if some of you decide that you prefer Grab or Gojek since it's more efficient for you, then it is okay as well. That is your choice and it's your cho That is your choice. So, so thank you very much for watching this video and goodbye.